a pawn this fine country of ours while you can, gentlemen. It's gonna be your last decent view for a long while. Nicholas Mendoza. <laughs> Shit. Guy like you's really gotta fuck up the land here with me. You, uh, might want to secure that weapon, Deputy, before one of these gentlemen takes it off you. I always enjoy seeing dirty cops end up on my bus. It reminds me, the system works. Enjoy the ride, detective. the one. Oh, shouldn't take very long. What do you say we back these guys and go grab some lunch? Uh, yeah, okay. I know a decent Cuban place around the corner. Cuban? Jesus Christ, Nick, you're in vice now. Why do you have work better than beans and rice? Seriously? Beans and rice? Why don't you let me order for you? Here's an idea. I picked the place, huh? I promise, you'll never go back to eating plantains ever again. You ever had Cuban food? I think you should take the lead this time, all right? Get with authority, check your corners, find our guy, and we take him down before anyone even thinks about going for their gun. Yeah, I've done this before. And yeah, not with me, you haven't. All right, let's roll. Use your big boy voice. Police! We're coming in! Police! Tony, fuck you, get your hands where I can see him! Let me see your hands! Up where I can see him! Move back and away from There's the table! There's nothing the wrong door. Oh shit, man, come on, now. How about the light out of my face, yeah? Nick, cuff these guys, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Keep those hands on your head and turn around slowly. Slowly. Nice and easy. Oh. You're making a big mistake. We're all friends now. Hey, spin around. Nothing sudden. Fucking bullshit. You know it. This is a fucking joke. I'll be out by the morning, cop. You fucking know it. Yeah? The pile of coke says otherwise. Fuck you! Yeah! Oh, yes, Jesus Christ! That got out of hand fast. What the fuck was that? You didn't check the door? Hey, I'm the one making arrests. You're supposed to watch the room. Yeah. Just check the bodies. See if you can figure out what the hell they were up to. Bingo. Yeah? What we got? Wallet. ID. Anyone you know? Nope. Dead end. There's nobody left to interrogate. Hey, I was tired of burgers, so I got Cuban. Anybody hungry? Hey, stop right there! Uh -oh. Get after him. Go, go! I got him! Stay where you are! Hands up! You're just making this work! Stop it! Downstairs! Now! So no comment, Captain? This is an ongoing investigation. That is my comment. No comment would be no comment. Where the hell is everybody? 
Oh, drug war, sir. Saw it on TV. It's like the 80s all over again. In fact, I'm gonna wear a white linen suit with the sleeves pushed up. Hope with a pink t-shirt. In the meantime, started doing special detail. Detectives, Mendoza Dow, my office. You two know each other? Sort of. Good. I'm making you partners. Sit. Mendoza, you recovered several kilos of cocaine today. Congratulations. So tell me, why does coke get stamped? Maker's mark. To prove it came uncut from the source. That's correct. And your coke had a stamp we haven't seen before. Your catch of the day claims you got it from Tyson Latchford, with whom Detective Dow has had several run-ins. I want you two to bring him in for a little chat. Sir, Mendoza's last run in the field, no offense, was a total clusterfuck. You're gonna get along great. Dismissed. You know, for the record, I was following Stoddard's lead in that hotel room. I'm sure you were. But no excuses, Detective. It's not an excuse. Just context. So what's the story with Tyson Latchford? His coke's for the rich and the clueless. Those guys you busted, Tyson's way out of their league. But sometimes he slips freebies to his old hood rat pals. So let's go find one. You're reading my mind, Detective. So hey, watch yourself tonight. This drug war's no joke. You don't have to tell me. I lost two friends in the last six months. Patrolmen. Yeah, I heard about that. I'm sorry. Me too. Miami's gone to shit. Well, that's what we do, right? Clean up the shit. Stoddard said that about you. He said what? That you love being a cop. Hey, hey, your windshield's dirty. Let me oh, get that. Christ, this guy. Hey! All right, all right, hey, hey, hey. How about, how about, uh, just let me get, uh, let me get, like, five dollars. Okay? I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just, um, I'm, I'm what you call a capitalist. <laughs> Sorry, man. Not when I'm on duty. Okay, okay. All right, well, officer, you, 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 uh, take care of the neighborhood. Be safe. All right. Asshole! You know the neighborhood I grew up in isn't too far from here. Really? Rags to riches, huh? Let me guess. You're from South Beach. <laughs> no, no way. L.A. actually, Orange County. Oh, so riches to rags? <laughs> yeah, something like that. What's this? Probably a drug bust. It's probable cause, numbnuts. I don't need your consent. Hey, Guzman. Who you got there? It's our old pal Hugs. <laughs> Trunk full of that hot shot shit. Down. Hugs. Where's your friend Tap? I don't know where Tap is at. Oh, he's looking for Tap. Yeah, you seen him? Nah, but I saw his homie Bricks over with Tap's crew over there on 12th Street. Thanks, Guzman. Appreciate it. Mm. Nice locate, Detective. Damn it! Open up! This is my house! I can stop her from texting me! You so you grew up here, but you weren't born in Miami, though, right? Nope. In Havana. Really? How'd you get out? With my mother. She's one tough lady. What about your dad? Wouldn't know. I haven't seen him in like 20 years. I'm trying to get the fuck away from him. He's still in Cuba? If I had to guess, he's probably dead. Which would be fine by me. Sounds like a real gentleman. Oh, he was a real something, all right. Yeah, they denied me my restraining order. Because I didn't have proof of service. I mean, how the hell am I supposed to have proof of service? Slow down. Okay. Is uh, there a problem, ma'am? Lou doesn't fucking fit. 
Well, good luck, ma'am. Fuck you! You want me to call for backup, Mendoza? Yeah. CP would probably send in a SWAT team. Come on. We roll up on wheels and we spook the whole neighborhood. This is 13. We're exiting the vehicle. Copy that, 13. The city blocked off the projects, so there's only one way out. All it does is piss people off. The guy we're looking for usually slings around here. I assume you know the neighborhood. Yeah, but I haven't been here in a while. I'll follow your lead. Damn. You stuffed something in those pants, officer? Thomas, don't make me check your pockets, because I know what I'll find. You sure do. Ruben, <laughs> put a leash on this guy and well, get that in a bag. I, actually, I don't... I don't really have a bag. <laughs> I don't have a bag. I don't have a brown bag or a rubber bag. Go ahead and take a look. Heads up. There's bricks. Do you have a or something? Careful, Mendoza. This guy's unpredictable. You go first. This guy knows me. We can do this like we always knew this and boo this. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. Neither one of you. Freeze! What the hell you want? Miami PD. We got some questions. Yo, detective, who's this? He's my new partner, Bricks. We're here to play bad cop, worse cop. Your friend Tap. Where is he? Man, fuck you! Okay, let's jump right to worst cop. Nick, take him down. <laughs> wait, 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 no! Now tell me where Tap is, and we walk away. Wait, protect and serve my ass, man. He's on the couch tonight, okay? That's all I needed to hear. Come on, Mendoza. Man, you can't keep getting away with this shit! I know my rights! What, we're just gonna leave him there? You sure that's smart? No, but I'm sure he tried to kill an undercover last year. Oh, Fuck him. Sick. Come on, Tap's couch is in the Arcola projects. He might not be there for long. Oh shit, that's Tap's crew up ahead. We don't want them to know we're coming. Follow me. Stay back. Come on, this way. You're not gonna tell anyone we're doing this, right, partner? Doing what, detective? Atta boy. Okay, come on. I got it. Go on through. Thank you kindly. Sorry about that clusterfuck comment, by the way. Sounds like it was a real mess. But you handled it. What's your read on Stoddard anyway? You weren't part of long. Stoddard's a bull. And the world's his china shop. Shit. Evening, 
tap, don't run, because I will chase you. We're looking for Tyson. You her new partner? <laughs> she do that karate for you yet? <laughs> I study Krav Maga, karate's mystical bullshit. You are a trip. Tap and Tyson grew up together. White guys who got a taste for the hood. Tap never left. Stand up. Hands on your head. <sighs> hey, Tyson, <sighs> Tap, where is he? A lot of people looking for Tyson. You watch the news, right? Dude's laid low. Life expectancy in the game ain't so good right now. Yeah, we were hoping you could give us some insight into that. Above my pay grade, Fidel. Nick, hook this guy. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh, I swear you cops get off on this shit. Yeah, at first. Then you just get bored. Tap. I am shocked, buddy. Yeah, I got a subscription for that. Oh, God. I know you got warrants. I know you keep your coke around the corner under the dumpster. I know little man who just ran off is probably moving it right now. And seriously, that kid is way too young to be doing this shit. So yeah, we have to take you in for possession. We will. What do you want me to do? <sighs> Piece fits? Yeah, it fits. Your wire? Say something. Benedict Arnold. Hey, Knucklehead. You're not Benedict Arnold, and this isn't snitch work. Walk in, verify Tyson's there, and leave. Sounds easy. Why don't you come down here and do it? Nick, find tap with your scanner. Your scanner's connected to every local and federal database. Yeah. Brave new world, partner. Follow him with your scanner to make sure he doesn't blow this. Oh, uh, no, man. We must be looking for time. Nice to cut them up. Yo, man, <clears throat> looking for Tyson. Tyson, this shit ain't easy, dog. Come on, man, just help a brother out. Come on, man, just, just go home. I need to see Tyson. Relax, get shit under control, brother. Just, 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 just go. Just, just, just go. And we're in. Come on, Tap, lead us to Tyson. I don't recognize any of these guys. Just keep on that scanner. Figure out who we're looking at here. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I wish we could just go back. That thing's equipped with a digital shotgun mic. Scan around and listen in. We should take advantage of the moment. I'm done, man. <laughs> Yo, Fidel. Shit feels real tense in here. Is Tyson around or not? Yeah, we're about to chat. Copy that. Tyson's through there. You got five minutes. All I need. What are you doing here? That's Tyson. Scan him. We need proof he was here. Shit. There's no line of sight to Tyson. I'm just doing what I'm doing. Maybe he'll move. Don't go around asking for me. Shit isn't safe right now. Tyson. Just one more. Please. Just oh, have a seat. I'll see what I can do, alright? No problemo. No problem at all. Wait a sec. Who the hell?
hell is this? No idea. What do you want to do here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta turn that shit around, man. Scan as many of those guys as you can. Oh, shit. Bitch! Oh, shit. They're after Tyson. Come on. We gotta get to him now. CP, this is 13. We've got gunshots. We're engaging. Gunshots reported at 3rd and 33rd. All units be advised. Come on! I got you covered. Arby's guys. Arrest these guys. I heard Nelson hired a crew for Arby's. Freeze! The guy's shooting up the place. Who are they? I don't know. I think it's the same cycles hitting every crew in town. Come on, Nick. Cuff them. <laughs> Got your back, Nick. Copy that. Stuff's a little low rent for Tyson. That's Tyson's mark. That's his coke. Start. Scan to see if there's any evidence we can track back to Tyson. Tyson's too organized for his own good. <laughs> you have no idea. Nice work. Remember, if that thing buzzes, it means you're near evidence. The guy responsible for flooding the streets of Miami with this liquid cocaine hotshot garbage? Our new friend Tyson Latchford. Hotshot's popular because the high's cleaner, without the crash. Or so they say. I can get Tyson in front of a grand jury thanks to this evidence, assuming he stays alive long enough. Nick, check this out. Did you find Tyson? What the fuck? Guy, look at this. Tyson was never here. It was a video chat. Shit. Can we reconnect? Oh, fuck. You cops led them right there, didn't you? Sorry, but you're the asshole they were trying to kill. Hello, Tyson. Oh, hell. This just got worse. Hey, your friend Tap took off. I think all your guys are dead. Fuck! Look. These aren't my guys, okay? Occasionally I throw product their way. Who's trying to kill you, Tyson? Yeah, that's not something you're typically told ahead of time. Tell us where you are. We can protect you. Sorry. But I doubt that. Damn it. Now what? Tyson's dead if we don't get to him first. CP, this is 13. We need a trace route on an outgoing IP connection. 13, trace in progress. And we're connected. Give us a few minutes, 13. Copy that. Let's go. They're gonna need more than a few minutes. So we know what Tyson was up to. But we have no idea where he is. Shit. We gotta get out of here. Hurry, get in! Detective Dell, got a location from that IP. 
Thanks, CP. Send me the info. Your friend Tyson has no idea what's heading his way. I'll send a ground unit to the location. Yeah, then we grab him and get out. Give it the boot, Mendoza. You know you need a warrant for that. Play nice, boys. <laughs> Something tells me you've got your civil liberties memorized. We're not here to arrest you. You need to go now. Let me get my stuff. Hey, how about you tell us what the hell's going on, huh? You know how I spend my day? Spreadsheets. I've been a street guy in a long time. Lately, everybody's fighting everybody. If there's a wrong side, I seem to be on it. That's all I know. Look, can we talk about this side? Oh. oh, shit. Oh, I'm hit. Whoa. How bad is that? Jesus. God. Okay. I'm putting pressure on it, all right? Oh, God. God damn, damn it. it. I know. Fuck. I know. Just hang in there. Dick. I'm not leaving you. Fuck off! Hey, Stop! Bodies fished out of Manatee Bay. Should start using them as buoys. Mendoza, a minute of your time, please. Oh, heads up. Watch out, everybody. Young detective in a hurry. <laughs> Kai. Detective Dow's back on active duty. Against her doctor's advice, but not mine. You all right? I'm off the softball team, but yeah, I'm good. Mendoza, that coke you and Stoddard hooked came from Colombia. Direct over the water. And we haven't seen that in a while. It's all Mexican transit these days. What did Tyson Latchford have to say about that? Uh, Mr. Latchford, it turns out, has superb legal representation. Here. That's Leo Ray, AKA Stingray, cartel wholesaler. He called my office yesterday. He says he has information regarding the drug war that's plaguing Miami. Well, we need to get Leo. And quietly. We three are the only ones who know about this. It might not be any more secure inside this shot than it is on the street. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Good. I'll get out.
Okay. Hang by the car, watch my back. Stay by the car. Wingman Leo? Not smart. Who's he? Found him on the way to the zoo. Said he wanted to see something endangered. <laughs> Can you fucking believe this? I asked for Dawes. And Dawes sent us. The next time my phone rings, it better be Dawes. Telling me where and when we're gonna have this discussion he said we were gonna have. I'm not coming into gophers with bullshit badges. I need real protection. I'm missing the game. Let's go. You can leave that with me. Oh, none of that. Hey! Ah. Oh. I heard you took down Tyson Latchford. A lot of history in there. What kind of person does that? Save the talk for Dawes. Stinger, what's the call? Go tell your boss I had everything on a platter and you fucked it up. Give me the bag, Leo. Or I'm gonna shoot this guy. Leo, chief! Nick, take cover! Oh. Who the hell are these guys? drug dealers. We already have a problem. Leo needs protection. Then we can get going. He's not walking that off, you know. Then you fucking pick him up! Hey! You're the one who did this to him, not me! Check the offices upstairs! Shit. Come on, let's go. I'm coming! Anywhere you say. So this is what Dawes calls protection? Leo, who are these guys? You can interrogate him later, Mendoza. We're moving. Come on. Hey! Detective! You take it. Can you drive this thing? Leo's in! Go, go! And you call my last operation a clusterfuck? Just drive. Captain Dawes, we've got Leo. Where do you want him? Uh, things got complicated, sir. We're crossing over the causeway. We're in a truck. You'll see us. Okay, we'll do. He's pissed. Yeah, I'm pissed. So where are we going? He's meeting us on the other side of the bridge. Hold tight! That's Dawes. In a helicopter? Leo's more important than you think. Follow the chopper! Watch it! Well, I learned two things today. You're both excellent at improvising and terrible about keeping things quiet. Sir, those scumbags knew where Leo would be. Does one of you want to tell me what the hell happened to him? It was a rough ride, Captain. Leo didn't buckle up. Is that so? Get him up! Sir, Leo was disappointed not to be meeting you personally. And it seems to me he needs to be put in protective custody. That would be my suggestion, too. And you, Detective? Huh? 
Are you sure that Leo was injured on the ride here? If and when you're asked, that's what you'll say? Yes, sir. I will. Good. I'll get Leo someplace more discreet. You're both dismissed! What the hell just happened? Ass cover and get used to it. He just wants to make sure we're on the same page. And what page is that exactly? Page where we find out who fucked us today. Previously on Hardline. That's Leo Ray. Says he has information regarding the drug war that's plaguing Miami. I had everything on a platter, and you fucked it up. You sure like fucking it! You're both excellent at improvising and terrible about keeping things quiet. What the hell just happened? You wanted to see me, sir? Mendoza, have a seat. Let's change things up for you, too. Relax. He's not gonna make you direct traffic. Well, not yet. So Leo, our good friend, he told us what he knew and he walked right out the door. He came in for protection, I thought. Tell Nick what Leo gave up. Drug bails. You're shitting me. Planes go up, drugs come down. Plop. Right into the Everglades. Show him. A fishing map. Whose operation is this? Some ship bird named Remy Neltz. Two years ago, this Neltz character was nothing, a blip on the radar. Now, he runs the entire operation that employed Tyson Latchford. Sounds like a man of ambition. Yes, he does. I want you two to wade into that mud hole we call a national park and find out just how ambitious he is. Sir, why would Leo rat on his boss and then just walk out into the open? Well, Leo said he didn't feel safe around cops anymore. We're done. Actually, Mendoza, stay a minute. Of course. Your partner can be a bit of a hothead. Well, she believes in what she's doing, sir. <laughs> Good answer. Sit down, son. There are going to be some complaints about the Elmore. Excessive force, etc., etc. Don't worry about it. I'll handle it. Well, we appreciate that. Hmm. Thank you, sir. How's your mother, Detective? Sorry, sir. Your mother? I'm sure she went through a lot to get you out of Cuba. <laughs> you don't become a detective, especially at your age, without a thorough background check. And you have a lot of background to check. Sir, it's all right. I know what it's like to have a shithead for a father, too. It took me a long time to find my way. And you? You're on the right path, son. Stay on it. Jesus Christ, Leo's map is confusing. The scale is all wrong, but... I think this is it. Leo just gave Dawes that map. Just handed it over. Handed over an unbelievably shitty map. Yeah, but what's in it for him? That's what I don't understand. Well, he's obviously being pressured by someone or something. Whoever's dropping these bales, Leo wants us to know about it. So we can take out his competition, right? Leo knows he's done in Miami. I had to guess he's probably setting up a meth lab in Iowa right about now. What the hell were you thinking anyway, beating him up like that? Leo had an attitude problem. And we could have had an internal affairs problem. There's our girl. Take us toward the drop. Narcos track their bales by radio. The number on Leo's map must be the frequency. And look at that. We got a pig. Get me close enough to a bale and I'll tag it with the tracking dart. That way when someone comes to pick these things up, we'll know exactly where they go. You know, back when the cartels ran their drugs through Miami, these swamps were filled with smugglers. Maybe history's repeating itself. <laughs> Let's hope not. 
Back then, cartel guys were gunning each other down at their kids' birthday parties. Yeah, I remember. I was just a kid back then, but I saw some crazy shit. Blood on the sidewalk, pit bulls with your throat slashed. How the hell did your mom keep you out of all that shit? Well, it's gonna sound a little corny. She worked hard, and she loved me. Yeah, that sounds pretty goddamn corny. <laughs> mom is boy. <laughs> Never would have guessed. Tagged it. Now let's see where it goes. And we got another pig. Lead on, partner. There's at least 10 kilos in that bale. Americans love their drugs. My point is, this is not a small operation. Dawes wouldn't have us out here if it was. You say the cartels are using Miami to move product again. How would they do that? My best guess? Mexico's gotten way too scary. The average smuggler will risk prison but not having his head chopped off by some Zeta. <laughs> Americans do love their drugs. Hey, it's a big deal that Dawes put us on this. You know that, right? Oh, I know. The problem is, the stuff we're doing, we can't exactly bring to a DA. Who gives a shit? This is way more fun. By the way, Captain Dawes, that guy was reckless as hell when he was young. Yeah, I heard that about him. It's just a risky way to work, that's all. Word of advice. You want to get on the Captain's good side? Take the gloves off. Oh, is that what this is? Bare knuckle police work? Now you're getting on. Yeah, pull up to the dock. A lot of gators out here. Yeah, I wouldn't sweat it. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Maybe we should stick to the trail. More afraid of us than we are of them, huh? Let's just get out of the water. We gotta get up to that platform. Try this grappling hook. I borrowed it from the SWAT. Ever used one before? No. Launch the hook at the platform. Do the narcos build these things? No. They're old observation platforms. For tourists. You good guy? How's your shoulder? Hurts like hell, actually. Here. Brought a zip line too. You did come prepared. Bullseye. Okay. Follow me down. What's your scanner showing? Hi, we got company. Shit. It must be the pickup crew. At least it's not a total loss. There's at least half that's still up there. I don't know. The other half's got leaves and shit, man. That's why Nelson won't mind us taking it off his hands. Hey, that's not how we do things. Yeah, 
And who's we? We. We all work for Nelts. Remy takes care of his people. Yeah, well, I take care of myself. Have it your way. Freeze! Hey, don't, don't even! Who the fuck? Yeah. I got this one, Nick. We're clear. Got a frequency for you. 120.13. See anything? Whoa. Look at all those pretty points of light. All up and down the lake. Well, let's take their boat and go check it out. this in? We're not exactly in our jurisdiction here. Let's find Nelts first. He's more ambitious than I thought. Shipbags always are. You know the thing that scares me the most about this drug war? Whoever wins will have a lot of money and a lot of guns. Yeah, and when they're done with each other, they're gonna come after us. The 80s all over again. Which is why Dawes wants to stop this now, before it gets to that. So if we're off the books, off the books. I'm fine with it. It saves lives. Hey, I'm not arguing. Then why don't you sound convinced? Because what's the end game? To put the big boys away, the kingpins, and make it stick. You need a lot more than guns. I don't know. Do you? We're playing a dangerous game, Detective. Good. They're my favorite kind to play. Last gen tech. Those things must get a signal out here. Guy was supposed to go to a stadium for a meet later. The closest stadium is back in Miami. Yeah, I don't think that's what this means. Well, time to move on. Oh my god. Oh Christ. It's Leo. Guess Doss was right. He wasn't safe. Why would he have come back to Nils? I'm gonna call it in. Shit. Yeah, I got nothing either. We gotta get going. So we leave him. Tommy, pick it up, man. You know the rules. Somebody at the radio at all. These are Nels guys. Here, no talk to them. Shit, Can't get Tommy. No! Hey. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I'm here. It's Antonio. Where's Tommy? Yeah, um, uh, he's taking a shit. <sighs> nice. Oh, yeah? Well, tell him that Nelt said it's time for the meet. Okay, where's he headed? Tommy knows where the fuck he's going, Antonio. Tell him we're on our way. Boring conversation anyway. The meeting on that guy's phone? That's with Nelt's. He said they were headed... Miami Aquatic Stadium's been shut down for a while. That's where they gotta be meeting. Well, we're not going to find it here. Whoa, slow it down. We don't want Nelts to know we're here. Nels, get your hands up! Keep them up! Huh. Mendoza, right? Save it! I took Starter's deal. You got some fucked up friends, Mendoza. Wait, what deal? I'm a ghost to you. You hear me? Damn it! I'll call in a chopper. We'll find him before he gets far. doesn't have any windows, so smoke should be effective. I want a three-man team going in here, 
and another here. Snipers, here, and here. Looks like Stoddard's got it all under control. Fuck that. We had him first. Nick? Okay. You want to make sure it's locked first, Hacha? Huh. Finally, we catch a break. Shots fired! Shots fired! Stoddard, we're going in! See if your boys can take some heat off of us. Right here! Get him! Mendoza, oh, take him stand out. down. What? We got this, Sergeant. This is not I said we got this! Put the gun down! Now! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I took the deal. You, Stoddard, take it all. I'm out of here. Put the piece down. Then we can talk about Stoddard, this deal, whatever else you want. What the hell was that, Stoddard? Looks like I just saved your life, Mendoza. He was surrendering! Leave it alone, partner. I say you were in danger. Right. He was dangerous because he was talking about your deal. Leave it alone, Nick. The hell I will! No, 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 I'm curious. What, did Nels say something interesting, Nick? Done here. Now listen to your partner. She's a smart lady. Here, before evidence arrives. You're kidding. There you go, Nick. Congrats on a job well done. <sighs> smart lady. Now I see why. Yes, Your Honor. Well, I disagree with your basic assessment of the facts. No, I understand. Thank you for your time. That was the Honorable Naomi Kushner. And what do we think about Judge Kushner around these parts? Left-wing hack. Yes, the good judge won't give me a no-knock warrant for known associates of Neltz. And that's just fine. War games, war rules. Mm. Captain Dawes, Mendoza, I... the three of us are a tribal council. And I'm very aware that we're having problems with one of the members of our tribe. He didn't take the money. <laughs> you were testing me. <laughs> well, we had to know if we could trust you. You know, from the very beginning, your partner assured me that we could. Now, you said that Nels was talking about a deal with Stoddard. Yeah, he sure did. Well, I need you to go back to Nels's office and get me something I can take to Internal Affairs. I realize that a hurricane's incoming, detectives. But this can't wait. Yes, sir. CSI's already been through here. What's the point? Well, they weren't looking for evidence against Stoddard. Look, we find anything, we go directly to Dawes. This goes to internal affairs. Dawes can't control what happens. You do trust Dawes, right? Look, Stoddard going down doesn't look good for anyone. Now, Stoddard's dirty. You know it, I know it. I'll keep watch out here. You go inside, find the evidence we need to take him down. Gladly. Hey, I'm gonna look around the building, maybe poke through the trash. Good idea. Just stay in touch. You think Stoddard has friends inside the department? Probably. Dirty cops look out for each other. Let's hope they didn't pull any evidence. Wouldn't surprise me. If Stoddard was stupid, he'd be in jail. Nels was sending money to some guy out west named Albert.
Okay, then I can figure out this code. Bingo. Remy Nails insurance policy, take one. Friday night, August 14th. I'm going to meet with Stocks. <laughs> Sounds like the next step is coming up with partnership terms that work for both of us. I think if you... Stoddard. Got you. Kai, I found something. I'm headed downstairs. Good. I'm down here now in the shipping container. What'd you find? Nelson Stoddard, on tape. Now when we go to IA, it's not our word against his. Remy was storing his cash somewhere. I bet Stoddard's looking for it too. Look in there. What the hell is this? Some bullshit I don't pretend to understand. But I looked online and the only place that sells that crap is a store called Domo Roboto in the Popcorn Mall. He wouldn't be storing his cash there. Nope. That's why I got the warehouse's address. It's worth a drive-by. Door. Your starter comes out without me. Assume the worst. I always do. Nick, I just got word from CP about a suspicious van. I'm going to follow it, okay? Yeah, all right. Just stay in contact. Lousy time for a hurricane, huh? about a suspicious van. I'm gonna follow it, okay? Yeah, all right. Just stay in contact. Lousy time for a hurricane, huh? Thirteen, be advised, you have a 1027 nearby. We got two buildings. Lots of guards. Remember what Dawes said, Mendoza. Don't worry about reading these guys in the lights. This place looks locked up. Good idea. Uh, I'm inside a tortilla factory. Looks on the level. Okay, check the other building. I can get in through there. When you find Stoddard, just let him talk. Hopefully he'll say something incriminating. Guys, I don't care about your weed, right? It's in two years, it's gonna be legal anyway. What I wanna know is, which one of you moved Neltz's cash? Yeah, he promised us that money, asshole. Yeah, okay. As of yesterday, I'm your new boss. But do you understand what that means? What would you say if you were working a case and some asshole shows up and tries to take the credit? I would say, let's talk about it. Huh? So, let's go do that, shall we? He just took a few guys downstairs. Okay, follow him. Jesus. Stoddard shot his kid's favorite actor. We can't stay here all night. I never spent! Excuse me! Can I have a taste of the maple syrup? That doesn't even sound like Nils. He spent weeks getting that voice right. For like three days. Put your hands up! Don't move. What? What? 
Hey, Francis. It's Kevin. Kevin Oster. O-S-T... Yeah, yeah, hi. What? Okay. I'll speak up. You still taking bets, right? What? Oh, uh, okay, okay great. Great. So, uh, uh, I got the paper. I'll go down the line, okay? Okay, first race, uh, give me chock full of nuts. Chalk. Like chalkboard, but with an O. Chalk... No, like chalk... Chalk full of nuts. Chalk full of nuts. No, no, nuts. Like, you know, where somebody kicks you? Hello? No, no, I mean like the expression that like a little fat cartoon kid would say, you know? I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. Oh, hey, you, you hear me? No, no, that wasn't a kid, it was, um, must have been some lines crossed because of the storm, I guess, do you, do you see the horse? O okay, second race, talk dirty, Derby to me. Sorry, talk derby to me. You know, like the song? Well, well, there's two songs, I, I guess. An old one and a new one. Talk derby like Kentucky. Hello? Hello? God damn it. Put your gun down. How about I just holster? Drop the goddamn gun! Nick, let's just talk about it. Nick, I'm following those shitbags in the van. Negative. Do not engage them. Nick. Find out where they're going. What the hell was that? Nothing. Nothing to worry about. You can't arrest me. We're both dead. Shit. Time to get the hell out of here! Assholes are torching Nelson's operation! Oh really? I wonder why! <laughs> Come on, Stoddard! <laughs> now, if you're gonna be in a burning building, this is the one to be in. <laughs> we got him! Can't you tell these guys to back off? <laughs> Doesn't really work like that, Mendoza! Here, straight to Miami. I'm parked out back. Let's get going. Nick, this way. Oh, fuck. Kai? Get over here, now! 
Kai! He sounds like she needs backup. Fuck that man, I'm taking you in. Doza, your partner, she's in trouble. That means we help her. Come on, my car's over here. So let's go get her! And Nelch usually had a few guys in the mo- Oh, I think something went down. That plus the guys Kai was after. Plus whatever the hell else is going on. You know it's not gonna be easy, right? She's my partner! Oh yeah? It used to be my job. I'm sure you would have done the same for me. But let's just go! Kai. Kai! Hey. Hey, you alright? Uh, you know, sure. Dawes is on his way. We're supposed to meet him by the courtyard. Good. Then we're taking Stoddard in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. More of Nelson's guys are coming. We might need him to get out of here. Oh, you hear that, Nick? You might need me. Stop right there! Yeah, don't get used to it. As soon as we get out of here, we're taking you straight to IA. Let's just focus on the get out of here part first, okay? Sergeant Carl Stoddard, you have the right for once in your goddamn life to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. That's enough. Everything you need to know is on here, Captain. Let me guess. You started the drug war. Encouraged one crew to wipe out another until none of them was left. None except his, sir. Hmm. I have a lot of evidence linking Nels to a rogue Miami detective, but it's all vague. <laughs> I had a lot of faith that you would find the last conclusive piece, and you did. Thank you. What the fuck? Hey, Nick, just so you know, I really appreciate you saving my ass back there. Love and beyond, man. Fuck you. Nick, don't. Kai. IA is gonna find a stack of cash back at your apartment. $33,000, in fact. The exact sum that Nels moved in his last transfer, so... The question, of course, will be... What did you do with the rest of it, detective? What the hell are you doing? Well, Kai went to bat for you. More than once. Why don't you just take the damn money? 
Is that what this is about? Nick, we tried! I was so certain that we would find a place for you with us. But no. You're convinced that you're just one of the good guys, aren't you? There's no such thing, son. <laughs> Previously on Hardline, you said that Nels was talking about a deal with Stoddard. I took the deal. You, Stoddard, take it all. As of yesterday, I'm your new boss. Tap and Tyson grew up together. White guys who got a taste for the hood. Tap never left. Everything you need to know is on here, Captain. What the fuck? Guy. I was so certain that we would find a place for you with us. Away from the 305. Hey, Bilstein, eyes forward. <laughs> nice talking to you, Tab. Yo, so some real deal shit is going down. Not having this conversation, Tab. Don't get wrong at me. I'm just a messenger. Tyson told me. Whoa, 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 hang on. Tyson Latchford? Yeah, see, so now you're listening. as thus follows. Oh, well, shit. Tyson? I was supposed to warn you, but... Go fuck it, dude. Just hold on to something. Tap, what the hell is this? Party time. What are you doing? Tyson will meet you by the water tower as soon as he's done with this whole cop distracto deal. Wait, what? Go to the water tower. Wait, wait a second. Where are you going? Dude, drop the fucking English. Water tower. Go! You or me, and I'm not going back. You probably have questions. What the hell are you doing here? And why the fuck did Tap have the key to my handcuffs? Officer. You should feel flattered. 
Besides, Tap owed me for that wiretap stunt you put him up to. He didn't escape with me. Tap? Right now he needs prison. It's a great place to kick a cocaine habit. Believe me, I know. Look, asshole. I don't know what the hell you've pulled me into. Hey, you can just hey, fucking forget. Hey. Right now there's someone you need to talk to. Here, take this. What the hell is this? See that billboard? Flash the light three times. Really fast. That's where we need to... Oh, shit. We're not safe here. We gotta split up. Tyson? Meet me at the bottom. And stay out of those lights. Shit. You made it. I'm loving the new look, by the way. What are we doing here, Tyson? Just bear with me. You'll see. No, no, how about you tell me now? Start with why you thought blowing up the bus I was riding in would be a good idea. That was a terrible idea, but it worked. Come on, follow me. Are you fucking kidding me? Taps transfer? Getting him a key? Crooked cops. We know which strings to pull. Look, for what it's worth, I'm sorry. Give me a reason not to knock you out. One, I hit back. Oh, I'm counting on it. And two, Julian Dawes. Think about it. He put me out of business. He locked you up. Eventually, he fucked her over, too. You're about the only one we can trust. Trust? What could possibly be in it for me? Dawes needs to know there are consequences for what he's done. You've always been the bring him to justice type, right? How about I tell you both to go fuck yourselves? And we go fuck ourselves. Yeah. What? And you get yourself a new orange jumpsuit. Is it really that tough a choice? I'm Julian Dawes, and they say I cleaned up Miami. Yes, I've cleared the decks of a few bad apples, but I had a lot of help. Now, I've been a police officer my entire adult life. And as much as it pains me to admit it, I've come to realize that the way we do police work, especially drug enforcement, is dangerously outdated. With your investment, together we can forge the new future of law enforcement. Our old captain's been busy. Jeez. Cleaned up Miami? Get this. They're calling Dawes America's police chief. Where the hell is that from, anyway? An angel investor pitch video. You ever heard of preferred outcomes? No. Well, you will. Dawes thinks privatized law enforcement is the future. Preferred outcomes is his way of cornering the market. <laughs> I changed my mind. Take me back to prison. Maybe later. First this. Car dealership? Nope. Korean Mafia front, and Dawes is involved. I assume you have proof of that? No, but we've got a guy on the inside. His name's Boomer. He's kind of a freelance IT guy for scumbags. You two will pick him up near the dealership. He'll have all the information we need to take Dawes down. 
Remind me again why I should trust you? Because you're the only one who hates Dawes more than I do. Guy Boomer's an hour late, Kai. He's not picking up. That means something's wrong. Without him, we get no info on Dawes. Well, not necessarily. You want us to break in. Is anyone still inside? I'm sick of this bullshit. Call my wife. They're out. Then, yeah, I think you need to break in. Look, they've got to have sales records, bio info, credit ratings, I don't know. Everything I've learned about this place is rotten. You just need to find that computer. The thumb drive should be able to crack the password and get the files. In and out, simple. Right? Definitely would not buy a car from that dude. And Nick, keep an eye out for Boomer, okay? He's a good kid. We'll do what we can. So what, we're babysitters now? Just park near the dealership. Someplace dark. You know, I haven't actually robbed a place in probably 20 years. <laughs> Don't worry. Here's just like riding a bike. Puts a car dealership all the way out here. Someone who doesn't give a shit about selling cars. It's online, it's not the one we're looking for. That's a nice gift. Nah, it's really not that nice. The guy that owns this shithole owns a Delfino? It's this one. All right, Kai. This better work. Well, shit. You must have tripped the silent alarm. Yeah. And those aren't cops. Hey, They're coming in. Look over there. Nick! He's got a minigun! Nick! That thing's gotta be done! Grab the drive! Nick! This place is fucked! We gotta go! Now! Nick! Oh, my God. 
files. Heading back now. Not yet. We still need to find Boomer. Are you fucking kidding me? He was working at Kang's scrapyard. It's nearby. I can't decrypt those files without him. Kai, these dealership guys? They're still after us. Look, you want to hurt Dawes? This is step one. Got it? Yeah. Got it. We'll be in touch. Gotta give the lady what she wants. All right, pull up over there. Let's find this boomer person. I'll get a look inside. Can you spot me? On it. All right, I'm in place. At least five or six guys in there. Looks like an alarm, too. How you want to handle this, officer? Hey. Yeah, Kong's panicking as usual. Did they get the guys? Don't know. Hey, Tony, someone hit the dealership. Good. We got too many cars as it is. Maybe we're next. Yeah, sure. Let me guess. Boomer. Oh, man, thank you. You're Kai's friend, right? Kai's friend? Not even close. What the hell happened to you? You know those files that Kai asked me to get? They caught me trying to download them. They were gonna put you in a car crusher? You know that whole criminal psychopath thing? These dudes method act that shit, man. But you got the files, right? Of course I did. Come on, they're in my laptop, which is in my car, which is... on the other side of that warehouse, which is filled with guards. Fuck! The safest place for you is inside this trunk. What? No, 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 no way, Kimosabi. I'm coming with. I'll be right back. I promise. Dude, you can't even get in the warehouse without my key card. Hey! Thanks. Hey! No, no, no. Hey! Man! Hey, don't be part of the problem, man! Hey, hey! Don't start cool! I'm not cool, man. Not cool. Keep watch while I'm in this warehouse. 
Anyone else shows up, I'll let you know. Put your hands up. <clears throat> Tyson, grabbing the kid's laptop. No idea. Looks like he split. I want my laptop. I thought I told you to wait in the trunk. Let's discuss later, yeah? Go, go, go! Get around them! Go left, left, left! Keep going! Go right! Follow the river, do not stop! Don't ever do that again. Deal. Okay, that was awesome. Let's talk about why an army was guarding a salad yard. You saw the drugs? What drugs? The cars. Give this man a prize. They're taking apart stolen cars, lining them with drugs, putting them back together and, and- selling them to the dealership. God, I wish I'd thought of that. It's Kang's dealership. Trains bring in the stolen cars, cars from all over. Kang fills the cars with drugs. Dawes' guys run the trains. Dawes' guys. Really? They had the trains unload right next to Kang's chop shop. I mean, it's not that far. You guys want to check it out? Let's go put this Mr. Kang out of business. Sure, why not? It's been a pretty quiet day so far. All right, the heart of the operation's up here. This better be worth it. As long as it hurts Dawes, it's worth it. So, who's this Kang guy? Runs downtown LA, likes putting people in car crushers, has a hot wife. Pays well. Except for the car crusher thing, he sounds okay. He's also the center of Dawes' LA operation. He goes down, Dawes is out of friends. Let's go introduce ourselves. You know what I think? You know what I think? This is all coming from rock. Goddamn snake. All from... Shit. There's a bomb under this car. Let's maybe give it some room, yeah? Rock! I want guys with fucking rocket launchers heading up to the hills right now! Take that cocksucker out! Go fucking around! Look the dealership and the scrap yard got in. You know what that means? That means we're next. Here's what we know. There's at least three of them. They all well armed. If they show up here, put them down. You got that? I want to see people working here. Pull your thumbs out of your asses. Come on, come on. This is taking way too fucking long. What the hell is wrong with you? With all of you. I pay you, don't I? 
then why the fuck aren't you finding out who's doing this? Do something! You know what we need around here? Loyalty test! What I'm going to do, I'm going to line you all up, one by one, look in your eyes and ask, can I trust you? And if I feel that I can't, I'm pumping a bullet into your brain! Hey, Am I clear? You see that? Am I Gonna have a look clear? around! Okay, I got you covered. Get out. What the hell is it? Who the fuck do you think you are? Get Kang's down. Must be something worth protecting back there. We hit the mother load. That's 9.9 .9 million dollars worth of coke. Uh, what are you, drug rain man? Come on, let's leave it for the cops. I'm not letting cops take this. Then what are you gonna do? We're in Los Angeles. I can unload this in six days. What am I talking about? I know a pro basketball player. Four days. Tyson, I'm not kidding. Let's go. I'm getting this out of here. You can help me if you like. Forklift goes like zero miles an hour. You'll get to Hollywood by next week. Oh, come on! Hey, nice. I'm not blind. Oh, then what are you doing? This goddamn thing, I'm almost free. Well, maybe you get the hell out of it! Tyson, goddammit, get behind and push! Come on! Oh, fuck it! So you're gonna update us or oh, what? You really want me to explain to you the super technical stuff I'm doing right now? Uh, no. Well, here's something. What is it? Party invite sent to Kang. Interesting address he lists too. Half these guys I work for. Says the party's on Mount Olympus. That's some kind of code? Actually, that's a real neighborhood, believe it or not. And the party's tonight. Kyle, I'll check it out. You up for that? I'm not much of a party girl, but... All right. Sexy. Where'd you get that thing, anyway? Boomer. He's worked for more than a couple of bank robbers. Let's find a way inside. Something other than the front door. If we break in, it's gotta be subtle. Relatively subtle. So who owns the house? Neil Rourke, noted skis bag, into drugs, guns... Someone would be interested in Dawes' private police force. That's my guess. He's got serious security, which is why... I brought that. Don't worry about it, Neil. The power's out. Those are just the emergency lights. Power's still out. Trust me, Boomer knows his stuff. We're in. Now let's figure out where we plant the bug. Boomer said a lot of shitbags were coming to the meeting. Let's look for a conference room or something. Whoa. This way. 
Is it me or does this place seem a little too quiet? As long as I'm not being shot at, no complaints. This will work. Okay, Bugs Planet. Let's go. Uh oh. Shit. Come on. Hey, lights are back off. Have to turn on the generator. I thought this thing started at midnight. Schedule change. Right this way, gentlemen. Make yourselves comfortable. I thought Kang was supposed to be here. Kang's not coming. Oh, well, his wife's sick. <laughs> sick? She's 25 years old. Then what does she have, a runny nose? Kang's out of the picture, officially. Which is why we're meeting now rather than later. I thought you were supposed to be his protection. We offer several tiers of security. Who killed him? You. Man, I'm out of here. Gentlemen. Sit down. Shut up. Allow the man to talk. You know, guys, this doesn't have to be this difficult. In Miami, we brokered truces between assholes like you. Any arguments, we settled like this. Talking. Now, we don't want your turf or your product. What we have is a network of cops, military contractors, and border patrol. By paying us, you get access to that network. It worked in Miami. So I'd like nothing better than to see our own local luminaries start thinking like actual businessmen. Well done. And now, gentlemen, a limo crammed with some of Hollywood's finest part-time cosmetology students is en route. Please, make your way to the Boom Boom Room. And enjoy. You, uh, want to talk about it? A guy that whacked Kang might be an old friend of mine. I need to just talk to some people. Should be back later tonight, though. Well, your money will be stored in my Sanctum Santorum. Huh? Rest assured. son of a bitch is here? Kai. If we sneak out this window, we can still catch him. Forget Stoddard. I've got an idea. What? Give me your phone. Okay. Why? Anything important on here? Just that candy game. If we get this phone into one of those briefcases, we can track it. So you want to steal Dawes's dirty money before it gets laundered? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds fun, actually, but you're on your own. Wait, what? I need to have a word with Sergeant Stoddard before he gets away, and we can't both be sneaking through this house. Oh. <laughs> Come on, give me a boost. Can't believe I actually trusted you. This is personal. <clears throat> personal? You helped Dawson Stoddard put me away for three years. That's not personal? Sorry to disappoint. My mother died when I was in prison, Kai. Jesus, Nick. You know what? Save it. I don't give a shit what you do. Obviously, you have no idea who I am, because if you did, you would not be stealing from me. Maybe I don't scare that easy. <laughs> well, you look Mexican, so I'll assume you're a burglar. But I'm also assuming you're not the average burglar. There are a lot of vulnerable properties in this neighborhood, but you picked mine to rob. Why is that? I wonder. Hey, seemed like a challenge. <laughs> Well, let's up the challenge. I just pushed a button, which means about a dozen coked-up psychopaths with automatic weapons are heading your way. 
You scared yet? Doesn't seem like it. Not from where I'm standing. <laughs> oh, no, this is very clever of you. A two-man job, huh? <laughs> so to speak. Well, hats off to you. Really. But you twits better take all the cash you can carry and spend it fast. Buy gold. Buy a goddamn sailboat because I'm not gonna stop coming for you. Well, ever. shut up! <laughs> Hey there. Just thought I'd check in. Hey, turn off the alarm. Uh, that's not gonna work. You got bad guys coming at you. Oh, shit. Right here! What the hell? What the hell? Stupid fuck! Well, at least we'll have to fill out a bunch of paperwork later. <laughs> you get started? Then try. I figured you'd probably use a hand back here. Uh, thanks, by the way. We should go. What the hell did Dawes and Stoddard do to you? Let's just say, I wasn't always the kind of person who would fuck over her partner. Fair enough. And just so you know, this isn't about killing Doss. Not for me. Okay. What's it about then? For you? I want him ruined. Because that's what he does. He ruins people. And Stoddard? Stoddard, I'm fine with just killing. <laughs> Pretty sure you're gonna get another shot at him. After tonight, Stoddard's gonna be coming after us. <laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused three million dollars worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! Right what now. is that? Where Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. Or do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It could power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army, you know. Made a local friend, so I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. But no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? 
Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Dude! Oh. You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. <laughs> I'm gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd be like SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <laughs> oh, you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safecracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. Uh, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! Go to the right here, Nick. So what have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road, he'll tell you when to turn. So are you like enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, a boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your dad? Is he still carrying that fucking gun? Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess? Show him your bracelet. Oh. GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Uh. Hey, man, keep it on the road, all right? sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Patriots? Are guys here armed? Totally armed. So Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. Dirt road straight ahead, that's ours. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert, thanks for seeing us. Uh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick? Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh. Peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal.
I have relatively good news. Really? Where'd you get that? Dune gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune? Who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh... She's actually really good people. Oh, sure. All right. Stay behind me. Okay, yeah, go ahead. We gotta find a way out of here. There ain't no argument here. What the hell is this place anyway? Missile silo. Decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude used to party down here. Uh, please tell me Alfred doesn't have a nuke. They don't have a nuke. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here! Look, if Stada gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. Alright, so how you wanna take this, man? There's a lot of Alpert's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, uh, but wait, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. What? If you're up for that. Man, you lead. I'll be right behind you. That's what I thought. I'm fortunate. Let's just go. Come on. Stay far, you know. Hands up. Keep them up. All right. Time to get out of here. Freeze. Don't fucking move. You even a cop? You better have a warrant. geared up for their own private apocalypse. Yeah, Tony's kind of flipped his lid. You think? What do you guys even need a safe cracking robot for anyway? Uh, to steal something? Well, at least it's being used for a noble cause. Head for the airstrip. That's where your brood is. Okay, and you're sure it's there? Yes, I'm sure. That's where Tony keeps all his crap. Just drive. Okay, look, this is one thing I want to know. Oh, just one? Hey, well, there's man. a lot of things I'd like to Could know. Could you just hang on? Dooney, why'd you let your dad lure us into a trap? I assumed Nick was just one of your dirtbag friends, but then <gasps> I found out he's a cop, which is kind of worse, but whatever. Whatever? Whatever? You know you're coming with us now, right? Oh, really? Oh, Jesus! Oh, fuck! Boomer! What if instead I turn you both over to this stoddard person and collect my 250 grand? What the hell, woman? I'm totally messed up. 
messing with you guys. Forgot you were crazy. This gun's not even loaded. Shit. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Dude's been hit! That shot in the arm. Yeah, my leg's broken. Oh, we gotta get you some help. Marcus, those guys that ambushed us, they're coming. You remember this thing? Right. Nick, hold him off while I do some triage. There's guns in the trunk. You got it. Now, for the record, this place has changed. A lot. <laughs> That's all of them. Hey, you okay? I need you to do me a favor. Tony's a hunter, so I could use a diversion. I decided I kinda hate the desert. So you're not coming with us? We can get you to a hospital. Nah. You seem kind of busy. Airfield's that way, you better hurry. Hey, Dooney. Oh, yeah. Good luck. See you around? And tell Tony I think he's away. house before we go. The fire looks kind of recent. I told you dudes good people. Her dad's gonna come after us with everything he's got, you know. Not if we leave first. It's an airfield, right? Maybe we'll find a plane. So, uh, what did dude mean when she said Tony keeps all his crap at this airstrip? Tony's always kind of collecting shit. The less legal, the better. Really? So what are we talking about here? Military black market shit. Tanks, choppers. He's even got a couple of grounded planes. Tony's got a lot of money, man. Drug stuff. Plus he's real literal about his Second Amendment rights. Yo, that's it. The old airfield. Keep going. Airfield's just ahead. I find it hard to believe you were a cop. Yeah, well, my dad was a cop, too. For real? Well, not the kind you're thinking of. You know the SDE? Cuban secret police? Oh, okay, wait, what? so what? You, you followed in his footsteps? Hey, you tell me, man. His job was torturing prisoners. And he liked to bring his work home, you know what I mean? 
That's why I became a cop. A real cop. Sorry, man. I'm sorry that didn't work out. Well, it turns out you don't have to be a cop to stop people like him. Time to walk. Come on. are fucking nuts. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to fly a broken plane you fixed. What? No offense. Man, what are you trying to say, man? Are you doubting Boomer? Man, get out of here. I can fix this. I'll go find the brute. Radio's on, all right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Radio's on. Guys are already here. Uh, 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 do you see like a, uh, uh, a warehouse across the way? Yeah, yeah, it's barricaded. You can't sneak in. Oh, hang on. Hey, I think I got an idea. Might be a little loud. Got the brute. Fix that goddamn plane. I'll hold him off. Oh, so now you want me to fix the plane? So, here's the deal. You tit wizards are all out of options. Which means I'm gonna kill you, chop off your heads, and piss down your necks.
Radios, uniforms, C4, scuba gear, harnesses, cable trolley, and one safe-cracking robot. So we're good, right? We are good. Let's get to Miami. Wait. We gotta give this place one last sweep. We don't want to leave anything incriminating behind. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to go. What the fuck is that hissing? <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You can hide from me, Mendoza! I taught you everything you know! How's it going, Nick? God damn it, shoot this prick! Oh, Gunja. That's some bad luck. Damn it, Kai! Yeah, sorry. It's Dawes. What, you want to answer him? Say hello? <laughs> Straight to dead guy voicemail. Wait, what are you doing? Dawes is gonna probably want an update. I'm sending him one. Where the hell are you? You should have come out of there by now. It's been over an hour. Maybe you got lost. There's a sign on the door that leads to the tank. How hard could it be? Hey, guys. Sorry, I got lost. Where the hell are you? Finding the water tank was easy. Finding the drainage? Not so much. More pipes than a church organ in there. Hey, Tyson, man, stay away from the cameras. Relax. All they're seeing is a hard-working window washer. Get the cable ready. We're moving in. Minimal radio contact from here on out. Got it. Man, could Dawes have put his office in a more evil-looking building? Be glad he's in that building. Otherwise, we'd be screwed. Wait a minute. Does every skyscraper down here have a water tank at the top? Most of them. Keeps them from rocking during hurricane season. Man, between his biometric elevators and all the bulletproof glass, Dawes must think that penthouse of his is pretty much impregnable. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Come on. Tyson's dropping the cable any minute. Here, I got another one. It's fireworks, guys. There's the van. Kind of on the clock here, Boomer. Yeah, I know. One thing. Are you guys really sure about this? <sighs> a little late for that, isn't it? Look, I'm just asking. Look, if I was gonna have a million gallons of water drop... 200,000. Or 200,000 gallons or whatever, I would want someone to make sure I'm safe. That's all I'm saying. Hey, you got another way up to that penthouse? I'll take it. And blowing out that stabilizer tank was your idea. Hey, it seemed a lot more doable when we weren't about to do it. Jesus. Tyson's back on schedule. Give me the C4. Here. Got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in here, too? Well, I could write bomb across it if you want. Come on, let's get this over with. Get the cable to the boat. Man, I ought to be up there with the brute. You want to trade jobs? You know, actually, I think I'm good. Have fun. Nice try. If you want to get a look into the lobby, the parking lot is right There's a few ways inside. Looks like it. Loading dock in the back, mezzanine staircase on the side. Boss man says also, there's the front door. Boss man only has so and many lots of guards. Around, twice the men. And lots of guards.
stepped into a city full. Our job was to find the criminals before they found their crimes. Some called it aggressive, I preferred to call it proactive. The men and women under my command exemplified the definition of Miami's finest. If you violated the covenant you made when you put on that uniform, we took care of you. If you transacted in drugs, we took care of you. And I don't mean in a nice way. I <laughs> would read you his book. Put that thing down, man. There's a reason nobody bought it. to a lunch. Hey, you know, I actually haven't robbed a place in probably eight days. Hey, you sure you found the right pipe? I'm sure. And I think you two are nuts. Let's get upstairs. Now comes the fun part. Dawes relies on that private elevator to keep his penthouse safe. Boomer did say it was unhackable. Good thing we're not hacking it. Dawes wanted Kang out. And he got what he wanted. Put your mask on. You sure about this? Hey, if we want that money, I have to push this button. Right. Back in LA, you told me to trust you, and I did. And look where that got you. Say, relax, Kai. It's gonna work. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Then I guess it is my turn to trust you. Better let Tyson in. Let's hurry. Someone's bound to call 911 about the explosion. Doubt it. Dawes wouldn't want any cops around here. Here we go. Well, it's nice to see you're both still alive. I'll say this you're a former cop. Dawes has taste. Now that, that is a $24,000 coffee table. You know those magazines for rich people that no rich person actually reads? I subscribe to all of them. Unlike you two bivalves, I have an appreciation for the finer things. Hey, come on. Just get the brute working on the vault. Okay. Where the hell is it? Oh, shit. Good question. Okay, everybody look... Bag. Oh, hello. Something tells me Dawes read a lot of comic books as a kid. All right, here goes. Okay, there, that, that. That should do it. 
Okay, Brute, do your thing. You're not gonna keep an eye on it? It's not like it needs encouragement. Come on, baby. Holy shit, the vault's unlocked. Time to clean this place out. Get back! Tyson! Oh, Jesus. Kai? He's alive. Black Vest saved him. Hey, stay with me, baby. I'm right here. I'm with you. Yeah. We gotta get him out of here. Come on. The vault. Get him. He pulled the money. Get him to the wire. This way. Dawes knew we were coming. You didn't get me. I guess not. <laughs> you are interestingly hard to kill. We're not done. I'm not done! You know what? I believe that. I do. So let's make it easy. I'm at Santa Rosada. It's not far. I know where the fuck it is! Then by all means, come find me, boy. God damn it! Nick, we gotta get out of here. Hey! Yo, where are you going? 
We're gonna go see Dawes. How do you know where he is? He told me. Gentlemen, a status report would be helpful. I made it to the island, Captain. Is that helpful? Very helpful. Well, it's nice to know we're on the same frequency. How are you, son? I'm gonna see you soon, asshole. I'll tell you then. Haven't given it much thought, Captain. No, boy, you haven't. Are you still there, Detective? I am. And I'm close. Believe it or not, Nick, I'm actually looking forward to seeing you again. Yeah, I have a feeling you'll change your mind about that. Nice mansion, by the way. It's <clears throat> way too late for that. I'll leave my office door. <clears throat> Impressive technique, but completely unnecessary, detective. I'm unarmed. I highly doubt that. Hey, hey! Keep your hands where I can see them. Seriously, Nick? What are you gonna do, arrest me? That was the old Nick. Yes. I saw what you did to Stoddard. And then you flew all the way across the country to rob me? Well, you just might be the most ruthless son of a bitch I've ever known. <laughs> Still, I don't think you're cold-blooded enough to shoot an unarmed man. If you wanted to kill me, you would have done it already. 
So what do you really want, Nick? Depends what you're offering. Finally. You're asking the right question. What's the offer? Simple. The world. I want you to help me run my organization, then take it over when I'm gone. Yeah, well, I think I just proved your organization has a few holes. Well, who better to plug them? Huh? Look around. You're all alone, Nick. I wonder why. My friends had somewhere else to be. No. No, you sent them away. You see, I think you finally figured out who you really are. You're just like me. More criminal than cop. You know what? You're right. Tell me, Nick, when you pulled the trigger, did I look surprised? There's a bookshelf near my desk. Behind it is a passageway. Open it up. I framed you because I didn't think you were a realist. Good guys never are. But I invited you out here because I hoped that maybe I was wrong. That maybe you were salvageable. You see what I've done is corruption. Favors rendered, money procured. No. The cops I've been working with, police chiefs, commissioners I'm talking about. Oh. You'd be shocked by how fast they cooperated. And it's not because they're bad men. The problem is risk. My customers sell something millions of people want. I've reduced risk. For cop, criminal, for everybody. And everyone was willing to look the other way. Except you. What I've built can't be taken apart. There's too much at stake. Too many lives and reputations. So congratulations, detective. It's all yours. Oh my god. Now what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> 